back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. We're talking about the 12th Annual Inclusive Voices. Let's talk about some logistics. Let's talk about when, where, and all those things first. Uh, the event's actually March 27th. Mm -hmm. um, it's at the Fairmont Hotel, and it starts at 1130. At 11:30. Honestly, you guys have no idea what happens here in the commercial break, and it's not fair to them. I just kind of <laughs> get in them a sucker punch and then start starting the conversation back. And so, Fred, I guess if folks go to the the Pace website, can they look and they see who the different guests are, the the table hosts are this year? Absolutely, they can uh, get all that information right at the the website, and uh, we have 35 uh, fantastic conversationalists uh, this year. Um, and, uh, you know, that, uh, again, that information is all on the website. It's so. all on the website. Okay, yes. so folks should probably do that now mm -hmm. so they, they can should. get, like, their first or second choice Absolutely. because yes. I'm guessing the tables yeah. fill up. It yeah. does, and it sells out very quickly, too. The event has been sold out uh, pretty much consistently each year. And, and Peggy, I say first or second choice because I think mm -hmm. that's part of the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. There's so many different options yeah. that uh, you may want. You may have a first or second choice. Absolutely, you will have a first or second choice. And it's so intriguing to think about, now do I want to talk to somebody who knows a whole lot about the parks in Pittsburgh? Or would I rather be talking to somebody who is really knowledgeable about the latest use of apps in IT? I mean, they really, it really covers a whole range of topics. But I have an assignment, Lynn, and I need to execute That's it. That's right. You <laughs> want to talk about sponsors. Right. Yes, let's let's so, do you know, that right now. Um, those of us who have lived our lives in nonprofit organizations know that gratitude is a beautiful thing to Absolutely. behold. Mm -hmm. and that. PACE HAS a GREAT REASON TO BE EXTREMELY GRATEFUL TO EQT, WHO HAS BEEN THEIR SPONSOR FOR ALL 12 OF THE wow, YEARS, THEIR awesome. INNOVATIVE SPONSOR. BUT IT WAS ALSO GREAT TODAY AT THE RECEPTION FOR THE CONVERSATIONALIST TO HEAR THAT HIGHMARK AND UPMC WERE THE BRIDGE BUILDER SPONSORS AND SPONSORED THE RECEPTION FOR THE, the it, was, IT WAS GREAT FUN TO SEE OUR TWO BIG HEALTH INSURANCE COMPANIES WORKING TOGETHER uh, ON A COMMON... THE, the uh, BRIDGE BUILDING right. SPONSORS. Bridge building. Isn't that yeah, the bridge building yeah. sponsors. And then we also are very grateful to the Heinz Endowments. So many of us love that condiment money here in Pittsburgh, but the Heinz Endowments are the convener sponsor for Inclusive Voices. And these endorsements as well as these investments are so valuable to PACE being able to continue the wonderful work it does throughout the community. So this is serious. You know, we're making light, but this is serious because the power of the investments that they make mean that people's lives are better, Lynn. Sure. After, after the fact. So this is uh, a fundraiser as well as a friend, a big friend raiser for Pace. Indeed. Yeah. Now, Fred, I remember this being uh, a little, or maybe it was just me that was a little competitive. I mean, I hosted a table one year, <laughs> and I remember being very competitive with friends, and I remember I loved <laughs> being able to say, oh, my table's all filled up. How's your table? <laughs> <laughs> is that just me, or, or is it kind of that competitive spirit? Well, it is a little bit of competitive spirit in there, but one of the things that we try to do, and we've been very successful at it, uh, each year that we've done this is to make sure that all of the tables are filled. Absolutely. So those uh, conversationalists feel uh, uh, confident that uh, they're going to have someone sitting at their table and, and they don't realize um, how interesting their backgrounds are to so many people in the community that would love to get uh, the opportunity to actually uh, do something like this, mm -hmm. uh, sit with them, l learn uh, uh, about their backgrounds and experiences. And uh, so the exchange of information is, is really, um, uh, it flows uh, dramatically throughout the, the, the entire event and throughout each of the tables. Um, so as well, the conversationalists are gaining from those around their table as well. So. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful exchange of, of uh, conversation. And I think what allows us to make sure that there's folks at every table is the fact that it sells out every year. Oh, yeah. So when you were saying sure. about options and picking tables, mm -hmm. if people want that option, they really need to, to go to Pace.org and, and sign up. And, and do it right, right now. Well, yes. here's the other thing. The year that I was a, a table host or a conversationalist, I remember that there were several other tables that I would have wanted oh, to yes. be yes. at their tables. Uh -huh. And I remember 
trying to lean over and hear the conversation because um, there's just so many things that you want to learn more about or, or people yeah. that you would not necessarily run into on the streets or wherever and I think that was the coolest part about it. Yeah. And I think the reception ahead of time allows folks to get to um, people that they might not be sitting with so that you can exchange cards and make sure that you're going to start that conversation and um, I know someone made a mention that um, some people even schedule luncheons like ever, annually at the that they've had a table and they mm -hmm. really like the folks they were talking to so they've scheduled annual luncheons so that they can meet with those folks on a continuous basis. And one of the things that we That's tried to do, idea, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, we, we try to be very purposeful um, with regard to uh, diversifying those who are going to be conversationalists within that event. So. Mm -hmm meaning uh, we have uh, an actual committee that does that so um, and and it's we as you said I mean we've brought in so many interesting uh, people from very different backgrounds um, that have uh, just been fantastic so I think I've gone every single year okay and so some years I am looking to just be interested I got to sit with Brian O'Neill a year he was a conversationalist oh, okay. and he was big fun oh, very I'm sure, interesting yeah but then last year there was somebody I had been trying to get an interview with for months and she was a conversationalist and I wanted to sit at her table so I could get my dad gum interview to oh, her. Right. That's a little <laughs> sneaky now. That's a little <laughs> sneaky. I don't know. But a good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Because I got it, Lynn. <laughs> All right, so the date again is March 27th. 27th. So yeah, so folks need to, to get on that right now if they want to get a ticket. Uh, again, the phone number 412-562-0290 or you can go to the website. It's Pace P G H dot org and of course my good friend and colleague Lisa Washington is going to be your mistress yes. of ceremonies that day right. sounds like a great afternoon and boy just get on it so you can get your first choice your second choice even if you have to go with your third choice it'll be a great day thanks so much for joining us yeah. thank you thank you, thank you. Good so much. Yeah. appreciate it indeed yeah. we'll take a break when we come back celebrating 50 years boy I wish I was 50 again we'll tell you what that's all about in just a minute don't go away thanks.